Welcome back to Rocky Mountain Prepper. I am Bellum. Today I want to talk to you about something important. Right now, there are issues between us and China. Bad issues. As you've already heard, China came out of, left negotiations for the trade deals. So tariffs were laid on them. And so as response, China then put tariffs on American goods coming in. Then on Wednesday, China declared the People's War on the United States. I pray this is just saber rattling. I pray that China comes back to the table so we can negotiate. This is not good. And honestly, it comes down to food. We sell a lot of food to China. Last year, they bought 90, close to 90% of all the soybeans that will be grown this year. China doesn't have the food to feed its people. So they're desperate. If China does go to war with us, they're not going to hold back because they don't have time. They know that without us buying their goods, their economy crashes. They also know that without being able to buy food from us, their people starve. They are desperate, and desperate people tend to do stupid things. If there is a shooting war, I pray that it is over in another country, and that our forces just happen to collide. I know the United States won't willingly invade China but they may choose to invade us. And if they do, they will try to push as quickly as possible to control all the food-growing areas of this country. So that you might be now wondering, what do I do if they try to invade? Same as any SHTF situation. Um, those of you who, who are new to prepping, SHTF is the crap hitting the fan. Substitute the crap for um, the cuss word version of crap. If the crap hits the fan, it is, your, it is a worst case scenario. We get invaded. You will need food, water, shelter, and a means of self-defense. And plenty of ammo to defend that which you have. You need to start gardening now. There's still time. If you're watching this in the spring, get your garden going now. If it's in the summer, there's still some crops you can plant. Start making the mistakes now before things get very bad. So you can be stockpiling your own food. If you have the money for a freeze dryer, get one and freeze dry your produce. If not, spend 20 bucks at Walmart and get a dehydrator. The food will last for quite a while. Won't have the, it won't have the great uh, texture and consistency that you had with a freeze dryer, but it's still good stuff. I've gone many years on just a, just a dehydrator. You need water filtration. Do not go with life straw. You have to be able to watch your surroundings. I like the filter pumps, the Catadyne Backpacker Pro, and also the uh, Sawyer's, Sawyer products. Those are awesome. Fill a container and filter through it. 
quick, on the go. Be ready to bug out. Have food and supplies in a bag so that you can take off at a moment's notice. Because you don't want to be where the armies are colliding. I've been in war. I know what it's like. You don't want to be there. You don't want your kids to be there. So honestly, if this comes to a fight, China's not going to keep it overseas. They're going to make sure it's on our soil. And unlike any other conflict since the Civil War, our children will learn of it with their own eyes. Be ready to leave. Bug out as soon as it starts happening. Get to safety. If you already know how to use the weapons, hold them off so your family can get out. Or get your family out as you're fighting. It's not going to be pretty. I don't want war. I pray to God every day that cooler heads prevail. But I prepare. Because I don't know what's coming. If we get hit, if they attack us, it could be anything from an EMP, then while we're, while the government, our government is trying to, to, to stop the chaos, in comes the Chinese army. Or they might just attack straight out. It'll take three days to get all the men and equipment we need to defend ourselves here. And they could easily be as far inland as the Mississippi within three days. I pray that they don't attack. I pray that the government of China comes to the table. I pray that they're just saber-rattling and trying to draw up job support with their people. Don't pay attention to the politics in this country right now. They're just trying to distract us from what's going on overseas. The whole Mueller crap. That's just... That's just bread and circus, people. Like the days of Rome, giving us a little bit of food and some bloody entertainment. That's all it is. We need to pay attention to what's going on with China. They have four billion people. That means they could have easily two billion men in their army quickly. Because they have that many young people who don't have anything else to do. They're constantly studying Sun Tzu's The Art of War. They are studying that in school. From a young age, they learn the lessons from The Art of War. And it is a real book from Sun Tzu. Here's a copy of one. Here's another copy of it. You can buy them cheap here in the United States. I recommend everyone read them. Our enemies do. And yes, China is our enemy. I don't want them to be an enemy. I want them to be our, our ally. Because potential billion to two billion man army, that's a big bully on the block. Yes, we can be a bigger bully. We've got the best tanks, top of the line aircraft, everything we need. Yeah, we've got it. We can stand up to them. We fought China in, in the Korean War. In fact, we beat the Korean army. And then the Chinese army came down the rip, came across the river, and pushed us back to the 38th parallel. That war is still going, so maybe China will fight us there. Hopefully, it's just the navies because our navy has the capability of wiping the crap out of the Chinese navy without using nukes. But China knows this. They'll sneak enough men, possibly even 
uh, putting them into Mexico and coming up across the border and waiting for a signal. They could be already doing this. That's one reason it is important that we have the wall. So we know who's coming through. It is national. That is a national security issue, but the Democrats are fighting it because Trump wants it. They wanted it under Obama. It didn't get done. We need border security. And if it makes you feel better, put a wall across the Canadian border too. I don't care. I'll pay for a second wall with my tax money. As long as we're protecting our borders. So, keep watching. Learn about survival, primitive living skills. I will be going over some of those. Learn how to track, hunt, fish. Start gardening now. Because if we do get invaded, every last bit of food in the grocery stores is going to go to the military. Of what whatever country happens to be occupying the area you're in. It's not going to be pretty for anybody. But get, a, but get your family to safety when it starts. Have food, shelter, means of self-defense. If your area does not allow guns, then get bows and swords and spears and knives. I've got all of that. I've got several rifles. Yes, I have the big, nasty, scary assault rifles. The only assault rifle is the rifle you use in an assault. A bolt action can be an assault rifle if you use it to assault someone. But I've got... I've got plenty of rifles. I've got training on how to use them, too. But in case the bullets run out, I've got knives, swords, spears, and a bow, and I'm get, and I'm pretty damn good with all of them. And I swear, if an army marches through my town, my home, they'd better be packing a lot of body bags. Because if they're not of the government, I swore to defend. They will need those body bags. That's all I have for now. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to get out into the garden. I can show some video footage of us planting. Yeah, I know gardening's not sexy, but... <laughs> it is. It's... I think it's damn sexy because it's providing food for your family for dirt cheap. It's a money tree in your backyard. Because it saves you money in the grocery store. You can save some of it, dehydrate or freeze dry it, and have plenty for later. But I hope soon I'll be able to get you footage of that. So for now, goodbye, like, share, subscribe, and God bless.